Okay, welcome back. Uh, you're on uh, Editor's Roundtable. Of course, we've been discussing what happened in a short work week, three-day work week, but a lot has happened with lots of volatility, uh, which has not been a problem. But, you know, in three days' time, we'll get the budget. Uh, in the next few months, we'll get two budgets. Uh, so that's the election year for you. You'll get the vote on account, which is on Thursday, the 1st of February. Uh, so three working days away. Uh, and then uh, after that, we will get, uh, uh, you know, the big budget in the month of July. I just want to quickly put out uh, some uh, sort of expectations as far as the uh, budget uh, this time is concerned, the vote on account is concerned. So I'm just looking at uh, the, the starting point is low expectations. And you don't have to uh, look at history, etc. The finance minister, Nirmala Sita Raman, in a, a on the record said, and the, it'll come up on your screen, uh, she said there will be, and I quote, no spectacular announcements since it's a vote on account. So that's the base point. Uh, but uh, in any case, there are, these are some of the uh, sort of notes which have come. Uh, the focus largely from a market point of view seems to be twofold. One is, uh, you know, some, something for infrastructure and second is something for the rural sector, which has been down in the dumps. I mean, uh, you know, for the low income strata of the society. So CLSA, I'll begin with CLSA, it says that government will likely keep the focus on infrastructure. PLI schemes could be extended. There could be perhaps more sectors brought into it. Uh, jewelry, handicraft, leather, chemicals. I mean, PLI schemes are not really a budget subject, but we've, we've seen this in previous budgets as well. The government talks about it and then, you know, specifics come out later. They could, uh, they could promote an infra-credit insurer. This is a specific sort of expectation CLS has put out. Farmer subsidy could be raised to 8,000 rupees from current 6,000 rupees. And they may also offer income support uh, to uh, women like some individual states do right now, but a central support may come in. City uh, also has got largely kind of similar expectations rural agri-demand support, which perhaps will be helpful for auto and con autos and consumer staples, continued capex push, higher defense outlay, a little bit on PLI, again, the sector which benefits is industrials if this comes through. And they also say excise cut on petrol and diesel and uh, the windfall tax could be uh, phased out. Oil and gas, especially PSU oil and gas, a lot of interest here. Morgan Stanley is the last one that I've put out. They say they could see measures that positively affect rural incomes and housing sector and or the salaried class. And basically the me measures are going to be aimed towards boosting consumer demand, which has been sort of lacking for the last, uh, you know, I think what, almost a year, year and a half or so. Uh, Raul, uh, this is. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all the latest news and updates, do follow us on our social media platform.